hi everyone you are welcome back to my channel pardon my drawing this is supposed to be a square but it's not drawn to scale okay so this is a square and this is the question it says given is a large square in which a small square is inscribed such that the corner of the small square is located at the center of the large square that is this place it means that this is the center okay of the large square now the question says what is the size of the red marked area that is this place what is the size okay now this is how to go about it first of all we are told that this is at the center okay so it simply means that from here to here is also six okay yeah it also means that if we draw this line here like this a straight line supposed to be a straight line if we draw that straight line then this place is six that means this place is also six all right yeah now we have a right angle here let us call the length of this circle x or y okay so let's call the length of this uh, square y now remember that the sides of a square the sides are equal so if this place is y then this place is also y this place is also y and this place is also y now before we continue let me clean this off because i don't have much space here left if this is the first time you are seeing us please click the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos all right we upload our videos every day so at your convenience tune in and watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you very much all right back to the drawing before we go over to solve whatever we want to solve here let us remember that the area of a square is equal to length squared okay the area of a square is length squared now if we relate this to what we have on the board so it simply means that the area of the square we are asked to find is going to be equal to y squared okay now we the issue here is the value of y how do we get the value of y to do that i need to introduce the pythagoras theorem to us okay let's go over this pythagoras theorem again now according to pythagoras theorem if you have a right angled triangle okay in a right angle triangle this is a right angle the side which is facing the right angle which is always the longest side of the triangle is our hypotenuse now let's call the remaining sides a and b now according to pythagoras it says that a squared plus b squared we give us h squared that is the hypotenuse squared now let us draw this out from here notice that we have a right angle triangle in our diagram so let's draw it out so if we draw it out we have this okay all right now this is our right angle it simply means that this place this place which is equal to six is our hypotenuse right and then this is y and this is y as well now using the pythagoras theorem it means that y squared plus y squared should give us six squared do you understand yes now y squared plus y squared what they have in common is y squared right now when y squared div is divided by itself we have one when y squared is also divided by itself we have one is equal to six squared so what we have here is y squared multiplied by two is equal to now six squared is 36 so if i should write this it simply means that two y squared is equal to 36 now at this point we are looking for the value of y so first of all let us divide both sides of this equation by two in order to remove two from here okay so we divide both sides of this equation by two and when we do that we have two y squared divided by two is equal to 36 divided by two so two we divide itself to give us one, one times y squared is y squared is equal to two we divide 36 to give us 18 so we have y squared is equal to 18 now we can go ahead and get the value of y but 
let us check for something first recall from here the first equation that we wrote that our area is equal to y squared and from what we just solved our y squared is equal to 18 so you can see that there is nothing left to solve here so it simply means that the area that we are looking for is equal to 18 units squared yeah thanks so much for watching see you in my next video bye